Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be playing and giving my first impressions of the newest Natasha Denona releases. So of course, the mini Zendo, we have the highlights, and then we have the two lipsticks. These are fresh out of the box, brought them up as soon as the mailman left them, and here we are. So let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup items on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And Natasha Denona is a specialty of mine, if I do say so myself. Let me tell you, I have been prepared for this video. I've been sitting in this half done makeup for the last two hours, waiting for them to drop this box off. It is eight o'clock, really late for me on a school night to be filming. But like I said, Natasha Denona, we make exceptions. So that is why this style is in the style because I just wanna throw it on and show you what I think. So I picked up all the new items that recently launched. You can pick them all up now on the Natasha Denona website and Sephora as well. So in this order, I will go over the mini Zendo palette and then we will get into the I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. And then we have two new additions to the I Need a Nude lipstick line. Let's get straight to business. We have the mini Zendo palette. This is $25. I feel like she's really perfected these mini palettes. It was a little bit rocky to begin with a couple years ago, and now usually they seem pretty good. So here is what we're looking like. Obviously, this is a five shade palette. This is an innovative bronze inspired mini palette that lets you create perfectly flattering looks. Very nice and simple, Natasha. She didn't get too wordy with that one. Immediately when I saw this, this looked like a nighttime version of the other most recent mini palette to come out the mini retro and I will do a side-by-side -side swatch comparison but here are how they look side by side and now that I'm seeing them in person they still look like daytime springtime nighttime fall time kind of palette so they look definitely like they would pair very well together but yeah this is kind of like the sexier older sister if you know what I mean so let's swatch it. Let's see how we are feeling. I'm gonna go from here all the way down. Mm. Oh, these feel good. Take a look at my fingers and yas. And you guys know I don't put a lot of pressure on my swatches. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this shade I'm swatching now didn't feel as pigmented as the others. But this matte that I'm swatching now felt really good. So here's these. So from what I can tell right away, all of these feel really good, especially the two matte shades. The only shade that I'm like, hmm, about, it has to be this one. This one felt a little bit more lackluster lid toppery to me. So we will see. I'm gonna prime my eyeballs. I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Why don't you come on in a little closer? Guys, I'm wearing all drugstore on my skin and my skin looks smooth Ooh, check the description box okay so a little bit of matte painterly paint pot is gonna take us a long way and you know what i'm gonna do this eye first to save y'all some time and me some time and then i'll meet you back here all right so i'm back i have some thoughts i can definitely tell you this look turned out a little bit more nude on my eye than i thought like more neutral i looked at this and i thought everything was gonna turn out really warm turned out more like this neutralness and i'm not mad about it we're gonna start off by taking this color right here bk beauty 201 is the brush that i'm using and this is only only gonna work as a transition color on people with my skin tone and lighter other than that uh, this is going to be a great base shade a great lid shade but it's not going to add much depth to anybody's look really i think it's going to be a gorgeous underbrow highlight shade for medium to deep skin tones wayne goss number four we're going into this shade which by the way this shade really really bomb do you see how pigmented that is and then it's going to blend out really beautiful as well so both of the mattes in here quite wonderful i really enjoy them and this has almost like a burnt rose kind of color to it i really like it i have a little bit of that shimmery brown mixed into this brush so if it looks a tad brown that's why i didn't clean my brush off because i'm not responsible bk207 we're going into the shimmery brown shade i really love this shade i actually like that it's a shimmer i think it adds a really cool element to some looks i think we're so scared of shimmer sometimes especially in these deeper shades that we're going to use to create depth but really i just think it adds such a fun smoky look to the eye and i think it makes it look more ethereal with the fact that it is shimmer answer 
you can still blend it and it looks fine as a contour shade. This is why the brush was a little bit brown. It's from me mixing the depth here. So this shade right here, I was worried about how it felt. And yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this shade. I'm using my finger and I'm literally not getting much of anything. And for Natasha Denona, this is unacceptable. My humble opinion, because she has a good formula up her sleeve and this is just the most blah shade. There's no like creaminess to it when you pick it up on the finger. You don't pick up any of the pigment or anything and it just doesn't feel nice. So I kind of scratch that shade. I don't like that shade. I consider it to be a dud in this palette because it's not even like a lid topper at least lid toppers they have a pretty finish this doesn't even have a pretty finish it just lacks in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here it's a little bit silvery see this is what i want from the other shade do you see how pigmented how much color you get this is what i expect when i purchase natasha denona this is what she's known for you know and that is a beautiful shade and it really neutralizes the look which i really like it cools everything down because you have such a warm crease shade i love how this shade really cools and makes the look more neutral then i just decided to go over the brown shade with my finger and i kind of use it to meet up with that silver shade that i used and like i said we're just forgetting that peach shade but i did want to show you it in action and yeah, I'm not so impressed by it. So I think this brown shade though is gorgeous and so is the other silver shade. Okay, so the shadow look though did turn out really gorgeous. I really like it. I'm going to do liner and lashes and then I'll do the comparison for these and then I'll give you kind of my final thoughts on this guy. As always, lashes really pull everything together. Now, since I'm out of my normal routine for filming, I did forget to mention that the Zendo palette is made in Italy and it has a 24 month shelf life. And I did just do swatch comparison since the top is the Zendo, the bottom is the Retro. You know, when I swatch one on top of the other, they look a lot more different as opposed to looking at them in the pan. I thought they kind of gave me a similar vibe, but the Zendo definitely has that cool warm tone thing going where half of the palette is more cool tone. The top part here, half of the palette is more warm toned. I do think that if you have the mini retro, that it is different enough from the mini Zendo. They're different vibes. They give off the same color story-ish at first look, or at least I thought they did but looking at them side by side I don't think they're very comparable just kind of a final note on the Zendo palette I'm really not head over heels for it I remember when I reviewed the retro palette I really loved it I highly recommend it it gave me that feeling of just really enjoying it I don't really get that feeling from this I don't think it's a bad palette at all I will say this color I could not get to swatch it just went kapooey it stopped working for me so four out of the five shades are good so I don't want to say you're getting amazing quality because 20% of the palette isn't very good but everything else is really great quality and if this is a color story that speaks to you $25 isn't bad it's a great way to try out the Natasha Denona formula minus that one shade and yeah I'm not a huge fan of the color story it doesn't leave me feeling inspired the color story is cohesive and you can create some nice looks with this palette but for the most part I'm not really inclined to grab for these kinds of colors I don't know that's just a personal thing if you like the colors and you don't mind having one dud shade then go for it the rest of the palette it's fine but it's not my favorite combination of color from her mini palettes I think she's done better but you know that's only if you care about my opinion you might not care all right so let's move on to the next item which is the I need a nude glow highlighter now I don't have any individual highlighters from her I do have of course like tan bronze and glow the quads and stuff so I do have highlighters from her and this looks like this is the same formula that is in the tan bronze and glow so it's the season of pricey highlighters i think because natasha charlotte dior pat they've all released some type of highlighter and this is 42 dollars, so she's not cheap but she's cheaper than the charlotte tilbury which you guys now have been loving so this is described as a nude champagne which by the way everything that came out they say it's limited edition this baby is 18 month shelf life and made in italy you are getting eight grams of product and here is how she looks in the pan really nice packaging i like this packaging from natasha denona now i have to tell you something i was a little bit disappointed with this release because when i saw the initial review of just the packaging i thought she's coming out with i need a nude quad and i thought that an i need a nude quad would be incredible i could only imagine what she was going to come out with and then when she revealed it was an individual highlighter i was like oh 
She could have done so much better making it a quad. I don't know, with like a nice nude blush, nude highlight, something like that. Natasha Denona, put me on your product development team. <laughs> also, and then I was like, okay. When I figured out it wasn't the quad, I was like, okay. But she said she had a I Need a Nude collection coming out. So I thought she was going to come out with an I Need a Nude highlighter collection of many different highlights for different skin tones, which I thought would be really cool because she came out with the I Need a Nude lipsticks that had a whole range of colors. I thought we were gonna get the same thing with highlighters. I was like, well, that's gonna be expensive to review, but that's very cool. But no, it's just one, so my wallet's happy about that. But I also thought that would be another cool concept. Sorry, guys, I'm really chatty today, but uh, let's uh, swatchy swatch. Ooh, very cool feeling. It's not super gelée kind of feeling. It has a little bit of, not tack, but drag to it. So let's take a look. I did not do a good job of wiping off my swatches, so just ignore that. Ooh, that looks that looks like a lot of highlights that I have, but that looks really nice. Just because we're gonna take the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, because you guys know I've been using this every single day. We're gonna see how these compare. Oh yeah, very different. This is a lot brighter. And it has a little bit more gold as well and a little bit more metallicness. So very different. I'm using my usual Kaleidos H1 brush and let's just put her on. So I'm not getting a lot of fallout. Maybe just a touch, but barely. Oh, that's pretty. It is a little bit more shiny than the Charlotte Tilbury but you're not getting too much product on your brush. Like it doesn't pick up a ton of product to where it's like too much. It applies the perfect amount to where you can easily blend it out, but you can also go back and build it up. And it's a very pretty glow. Um, on my skin tone, not getting a cast either. And this seems like a color that would do pretty well on a lot of skin tones because it's not translucent, but it doesn't look like there's too much of a color to it or pigment to it. So it's not gonna look funky on different skin tones. It's gonna have more of the finish as opposed to the color, which makes it work for more skin tones. If you have a deeper complexion, I would love to hear how these products work for you. Put a comment down and I'll pin it. That's really pretty. It's definitely a more metallic shiny highlight, though you are able to blend it out if you do want something a little bit more subdued. But I do like this. This is a nice highlight. Let me just... Put it out. I don't know, $42, it, that's a lot for a single highlighter. I'm not gonna tell you to run out and you need to have it. Maybe in more time I will because the $55 highlight, you guys know I said don't buy it, but then like you should. <laughs> Maybe that'll happen with this. As of right now, it's not better than the Charlotte Tilbury to me. So I'm not telling you you need to buy it, but it's really, really nice. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's just, we all have so many highlighters, you know, already and $42 is a lot, but it's most definitely a beautiful highlighter. I really like it. So so let's get down to the last two products. And I wasn't gonna get these because their lipsticks are $25, that adds up to 50, but she did add two new colors to her I Need a Nude lipstick line. Since these are like the holiday collection colors, they come in cool metallic chrome kind of packaging. Both are made in Italy, 18 month shelf life. I just very lightly framed my lips with the iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury. And we're gonna start off with the lighter shade. Let me swatch them for you first. What am I doing? So the lightest shade right here here. This is Maria and Maria is described as a neutral pink undertone. That's all it is. A nude with a neutral pink undertone. That's really pretty. And then let me do the other color, which has darker packaging. This is Andrea. Oh, this isn't even darker. It just has darker packaging. Andrea is a neutral beige tone. Looks a little bit more peachy to me. These, these look very close, honestly. Okay, <laughs> let's try Maria. It's funny because you know Charlotte just came out with the Super Nudes collection and none of them were very nude. Like these are the colors that I would imagine for a collection named Super Nude. So these are Natasha's Cream Finish. I love her I Need a Nude lipsticks. I love her formula. They are very, very soft. So if you live in a warm climate, be careful because the lipsticks can melt. But this is really stunning. It's very, very light. Probably don't want to wear it alone, but I do like that. Just really pretty and it's still that great formula. Okay, so let's try Andrea now. Yeah, this one looks a bit more like warm peachy to me. Ooh, 
I like that one. I mean, I don't think that you need both of these. I think they're honestly kind of close to each other. And Maria does run a bit pinker, whereas Andrea, if you prefer warmer colors, maybe you wanna go with that. So I would go with what undertone you prefer, but I don't think you need both. But I will say though, they are a fabulous formula. I really like Natasha's lipstick formula. All right, of course, so here is everything put together. It's a very pretty nude look. I really like the whole look. So starting off, final thoughts with the mini Zendo palette. I think it's okay. I think, you know, if you don't have a lot of these palettes, I think there are better ones to choose from. If you are absolutely gagging, dying, breathing for this color story, I mean, go for it, but it doesn't move me like the other palettes in her collection. So I just think you should look for other colors and see if there's more colors that you like better. Plus she also just has other palettes where all five of the shades are spectacular. I don't think that this is the greatest representation of her brand personally, and I don't really care for the color curation either. The highlight, I'm at a loss because I actually, I really do like it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. We all own so many highlighters, so that is up to you whether or not you think you need it, but I do think it's a really nice color, a very great universal shade for a lot of different skin tones, maybe not every skin tone, and it's a solid formula. So I think if you get it, that you will absolutely like it, but I don't think it's a need. And y'all know I can't stop talking about this, so you can choose. <laughs> and then lastly, the lipsticks, I think they're really nice. You know, they're nothing that's knocking my socks off. I guess nothing in this collection is knocking my socks off. But if you like your nudes and you like the Natasha Denona formula, I do recommend these. I highly recommend her I Need a Nude lipstick line in general. So I would take a look at the whole collection and see if there's any color that really is speaking to you. But I do think these are a good way to start because I like the chrome packaging better anyways. I just don't think you need both. Beautiful formula, both beautiful colors. Just go with whatever color fits you better but if you do like the really light nude shades spectacular if you don't like the really light nude shades at least look into her line because she has a really great and inclusive line of nude lipsticks so she has other colors to offer but these two are particularly on the lighter side of nude and i do like them no duds in here really but also nothing that is crazy i did hear word that she was coming out with more potentially like a bigger palette so i think this might just be the beginning like a little teaser of the holidays but uh we will see about that so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would at least consider taking the time to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one